Alright, here we go. We're warping on over to Firelink Shrine. Actually, I don't think I even have enough souls from the get-go to, uh, because I think it costs 47,000 souls to get it to, from plus 8 to plus 10. I think it costs 22,000 for plus 9 and 25 for plus 10. Did I say plus 5, plus 9, and then 25 plus 10? You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Is that your doing? Obviously. Nobody else yes, was there, son. I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely Everything in this world is my doing. Yes. Nobody else does anything. I they all just stand around. Light of Katarina, thank you that was actually something I thought of. I don't know why I'm talking over dialogue. As a token of my I don't know if anybody even cares about the dialogue. There you are. I'll be heading with nothing. No worries. <laughs> oh, that's right, and I'll be able to go find him, too. Because he moves to Blighttown after this as well, so I'll have at least three things to do in Blighttown. Actually, four, because I will want to go through a Great Ash Lake eventually. Hello. Oh, nope. <laughs> I was a little off in regard to the cost of all this shit. Alright, I'm smart and know exactly what I speak of. My dog's making every single time it kinda like, oh shit, what's making noise? Something's making noise. Stop sleeping. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. But that's what you are. That is precisely what you are. Don't keep snoring, you're awake now, you dumb son of a bitch. Ah, I was gonna say, are they gonna make it so I can't talk to him? Was it you who rang? How miserable would that be? He somehow still asleep, even though I just woke him up. King Seeker Frat, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate and the very reason your kind have appeared. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn. I wanna. So that you may link the fire. I wanna. Cast away the dark. I don't wanna. And undo the curse of the undead. I get to have so many free adventures. Now, let us take that vessel on a I can just die as many times as I want. Who so cares? Come back. Who wouldn't eight. want that? Now, I'm sure I'd get pretty tired after enough time. It's that whole thing, you know, like every it's kinda like, you know every single time there's any kind of a story. I kinda wish that would happen. Like I can't think off the top. I mean, I'm sure it's happened at some point in time. There's no way somebody significantly more talented slash able uh, than me has not had the same thought and been like, yo, let me actually act on this. But how the majority of the stories regarding people that have, you know, either some sort of immortality or, you know, like an, an extremely long lifespan don't wind up being like, I just want it to be over. I'm so sick of it. And that kind of thing. And so I'd rather have somebody that's like, yo, man, I'm immortal. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm happy. And that's it. They're just ha they're just happy and they just abuse their immortality. So somebody tell me how I've been carrying that around in my hot pants. So those are pretty tight. And by, have I been using it to stuff my bra? Is that what's been going down? And maybe that scythe is as big. No, I don't. I, I really do not think that the life hunt scythe is anywhere near as big as the great scythe was. Oh, boom! Burn down the trees. Rest in peace. Yay! So that's actually the tomb of giants. Way the fuck in there. So you can actually get pretty damn far into the tomb of giants without having to use the lord vessel. But. Fuck getting out of the Tomb of Giants without being able to warp. That would suck. That area sucks. Is the problem. Like, this is... Very well. This is the height of it. Ain't Orlando? That was the best we gonna get. The DLC's not... The DLC's not terrible. Uh, unfortunately, the DLC is... Um, it's in the past. Spoilers! Uh, but it's... A past version... Of uh, basically the Dark Root Basin, Dark Root Forest, all of that shit. So the middle area of that section is literally a copy pasted 
Dark Root Basin, Dark Root Garden, whatever the fuck it is. Like that area where you fight the mushrooms and the cats. That tower's even there. But once you get to the Ulisile Township, it's all original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get to the Ulisile Township, everything gets original again. But it kind of sucks, that realization that, like, I understand that this is, you know, supposed to be the past. And this is where, you know, like, this is why this is where Artorius' grave is and all that shit. But it's still just, like, I'm going through an area I've already been through before. Why? Not to knock it. Like, honestly, the Artorius, the whole Artorius, not even, like, the fight. But just the lore behind him, I think, is one of some of the strongest lore. You know, with Artorias, Sif, and Manus, all of that is just some of the best kind of story-related stuff I have seen in a very long time. And so that part of it is awesome, but just, you know, actually going through that area is just like, eh, I don't want to do this. So now what do I actually want to do? Oh, that's right. I want to go. Oh, I can't now. No, never mind. Yes, I can. Can I? I'm not sure, because I wanted to go back. Um, I think, actually, this would be the fastest way to do it. No, it wouldn't. Undead Perish. I can't decide which direction I want to go to do this. Oh, I could just warp. Stupid. <gasps> ah, I'm smart. Whee! Speed that up a little bit. Oh, I should have fed him some shit, too, so I can get some extra souls, but I am not going back up. We can handle that later. And then I'll want to go to, I think, I, to the Daughter of Chaos after this, so I can, I'll meet Siegmeier down there in Blight Town. I'll, uh, I'll meet, what's his name? Shiva. And I'll meet, whatever the hell her name is. Quilana. Let me see, is there anything I want to do here? I don't think I have the enchanted ember, which yeah, that goes to that goes to the other dude. Cause basically what I want to do is I want to run down here real quick. Just to summon dusk. Cause I want to see basically this is only a test. Really. This is a test of your emergency broadcasting system. But no, um, I the past couple of times that I've gone to the DLC technically whenever when you go down there to the DLC you're supposed to get dust armor and so that's not useful for me but her helmet is one of the that's not actually a helmet but you know whatever the hell she's wearing on her head is one of the best items you can get for a spellcaster because it increases your spellcasting damage but for the past few couple times I've done this, her armor hasn't been where it's supposed to be. And so I'm thinking the reason for that is because you need to summon her. And I have not... You need to summon her first and talk to her before you actually initiate all of the DLC and whatnot. You're supposed to dodge out of that. And I haven't done that. So I would like to. Ooh, I could do Ash Lake too. I may as well just handle Ash Lake because Ash Lake is just really straightforward. There's nothing really... There's a mini boss. You fight another Hydra down there. But there's nothing really specifically like... Oh, I should totally save this for later. There's no reason to. Just check and see. Now that I have Ricard's Rapier as Divine... It is worth... Um, trying to fight these dudes and get blue chunks. Yay! Because I'm going to need them if I want to upgrade Ricard's Rapier all the way. So let me see. So her summon sign might not actually be here post lord vessel because that's when yeah it's not here damn it wait yes it did. nope never mind that's just that's just that's just grass okay so it's gone so much for that idea oh that's right i still have the rusted iron ring equipped don't i let's see do i care about poise or do i want to go i'm gonna start using this actually all right so now i want to go to blight town The main thing I want to see, actually, is whether or not, um, I need to stop saying, um, I know what I want to say, but my, my mouth just kind of runs ahead a little bit. 
and I kind of forget about it for a second. I'm like, oh, that's right, that's what I want to say. But I want to see whether or not number one, kill whether or not killing Shiva down in Blight Town actually breaks the covenant, the Forest Covenant, which I won't exactly be uh, terribly heartbroken about if that happens. Like, it, worst comes to, well, I was gonna say worst comes to worst. I could if I really wanted PvP, I could join the Dark Wraiths. But that's too late for that now. Joining the Dark Wraiths is really weird. Actually, I think you can do it without having to uh, kill Sif early. Where the fuck am I going? What am I doing? Good lord. <laughs> um. Oh, I could actually kill... I could probably handle Ceaseless Discharge easily right now. But just so I don't have to back up that claim, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Yeah, so... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, well, firstly, whether or not killing Shiva down here breaks the covenant. And secondly, whether or not Shiva's bodyguard is actually down here. Because, I mean, I would assume he is. But I'm not 100% sure, because I've never looked for him. I mean, there's no reason for him not to be. He's Shiva's bodyguard, you'd think he would be with Shiva. But weirder things have happened. I just, I can't imagine actually using the wood grain ring, because it's kind of just like, I don't know, using both the blood bite and then the wood grain ring seems kind of like a waste. I'm not sure. I might, I don't know, I've never actually used it before. I've gotten it, but I've never bothered using it. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Nah, we can still go this way and be fine. I was thinking Shiva was the first one I could potentially talk to, but that is incorrect. The first one I can actually get to is Quilana. I'm gonna have to hold this poison. I'm also gonna have to hold this frame rate! Jesus! Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Fascinating. I am Quelana of Isodeth. Hi. I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have a gift. Yes, it's called a very large pyromancy claim. Seeks my pyromancy? Among other things that are very large. Yes. I need course. to remember that my character right now is Which female. Expected. <laughs> very well. You shall be my pupil. He's but a lady boy. Pyromancy. You must give something up. Are you prepared? Characters from Thailand. I'm sorry. So let's see. Oops! It's not what I meant to do. I. Oh, wow, I can't afford shit. I can afford combustion, but I already have combustion. I already have that too. I'm gonna buy him anyways. I'm not sure. I apologize. I'm gonna roll ago, all through all of this. Over two hundred in your world. Pyromancy. Because eventually, Pyromancy. once you talk to her enough. Now go. She makes a request of you. I'm not sure if you have to buy everything from her or what exactly is the strict cutoff. I'm going to try one more time. But eventually, once you talk to her, she asks you if you will go handle the bed of chaos for her. A mistake that needs to be handled, but she's not strong enough. That kind of thing. There's Shiva. Let me actually kill this dude first just to be sure. And then, once you do that, when you come back, she'll give you, I think it's... I know it's one of the great chaos spells, but I'm not... I think it's combustion, I'm not 100% sure which. Oh yeah, there he is, that's why I haven't seen him. What was that? Oh, that dude must have seen me. Actually, I think that's just the windmill, but whatever. I want to kill him anyway. Because those 121 souls are very useful. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've gotten that yet, have I? No, I have not. Where is the covetous silver serpent ring? That's the one that gives you more souls on kills. Hello, strange to meet you. Oh, fuck love you guys. And... Actually, I don't want to attack this close. I'll end up, my luck, I'll end up hitting Shiva. Son of a bitch. Fuck these things. They have such awkward hitboxes. They're so hard to hit. We meet. I have. Yeah, there really isn't actually. Oh, I didn't know he sold that. 
I thought the only way you could get it was from killing the merchant. Slows weapon. So that's that's useful if you use the katana weapons, because I think actually I don't. I'm not. I think this one has really. Yeah, that one has lo really low. Oh, they all have. That only has 80. Let me see. Oh, I don't have the Ayato with me. But yeah, all the katanas have really low durability, so that's useful for that. But I mean, it's not terribly bad, because it's not like, you know, you don't have ready access to repair at any point in time, as long as you get the weapon smith box. So it's not that big of a deal. Should I rest here? Nah. No need. If I die down here, I deserve the shame. I deserve the walk of shame that will lead me having to walk all the fucking way down here. You motherfucker. Just fucking... God damn. God damn. Fuck this. Fuck. I'm gone. Fuck this. <laughs> no, I didn't make it. So goddamn sick and tired. Yep, there's Siegmeier right over there. I missed. Again. Good golly. Give me green titanite shards. I actually need them now. Actually, do these guys drop? I'm not sure if these particular ones drop green titanite shards. Motherfuck. I hate these guys. Yo, heal, please. Press that button twice. There, good. Jesus, there's... Ugh! I am so sick and tired of all of this, of everything to do with this god-awful area. Motherfucker. I hate you so much. <gasps> Woo! Nate's losing his sanity! But yeah, I do actually want to kill these things now. Because I want the green titanite shards in order to uh, upgrade Ricard's rapier. Shit. Don't I have the gold covetous? How have I not gotten a single drop from these guys? I didn't get any drops at all either the first time I rolled through here. Which obviously... Well, I mean, you got the first time on the original playthrough on camera. I'm not sure if I got any drops during that either, but jeez, I have five humanity. <laughs> and the covetous gold serpent ring equips, and I cannot get a drop. He's asleep. You gotta wake him up. Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see... I see them in the fucking background. Fuck you guys. But I'm short on antidote marks for the trip back. Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask. But can you spare a few scraps of marks? And thank you, this knight of Katarina is pleased. Well, now perhaps. <laughs> I can... Just making sure I exhaust all the dialogue. And now that should make it so that, uh... Actually, I don't think even that's necessary. I think you only have to talk to him in Firelink Shrine to make his daughter spawn in the Duke's Archives. Obviously, I'm not going to the Duke's Archives for a while. That's actually probably going to be one of the last areas that I go to. Because I'm going to do the... The first thing I'm going to do is the Catacombs. Uh, post-DLC. Damn it. That was not horrible, but still... I'm, I, I'm not, I'm starting to question whether or not these guys actually do drop green titanite shards. I feel, I think they do, but now I'm not 100%. Clearly none of the ones I'm killing do. Ow. I don't know why I didn't dodge that. I just decided to stand there and eat all of it. Wow. Wow. Nailed it. Yep, nothing. Nothing. I'm not going to bother killing the two. So what does... I know those things that are in the depths. Actually, I could do that, really. Nah. That would require grinding. I don't want to... The last thing I want to do is grind. But those, uh... Little sludge fuckers. Sludge fuckers. 
that are in the depths drop green Titanite shards, but I would rather. I personally, I would just rather buy them. I think they cost 4,800 per though, <laughs> which is a little steep. Just a teensy bit. I don't think I really care ultimately. About because I'm I I'm really not gonna use it that much. Oh, you know what? Those large Titanite shards are gonna come in handy though. Because I still, I think the Black Bow of Ferris is still only a plus five. See, every single time you come down here, you just get 4,000 souls out of nowhere. Alright, here we go with this shit. I need to pay attention to potential drop places. Who did I miss? Okay, good. I thought I might have been just a teensy bit off right there. But yeah, I'm looking for... There's one all the way down there. That's pretty far, though. There's got to be something closer. There's stuff all over the damn place in this area. Was there something right there? At the end of this? No. I remember this part. I always manage to kind of just like barely misjudge this shit and I fall off. And there it is. <laughs> Every fucking time. I'm not even sure. I think there I think there are blue Titanite chunks down here. But I'm not I mean if I can't even get green Titanite shards to get it to plus 5, what do I care about blue Titan or blue Titanite chunks? to get it to plus 10. I think the majority of what's in this place are red and blue chunks. I think there might be a couple regular chunks. They're all upgrade materials. I just, I don't know. Because obviously I don't really need, well, I will need upgrade materials for the shield, for the blood shield. So yeah, I guess it's not completely fucking useless. Oh, come the hell on! Alright, I think I'm done trying to get that. I'll give it one more shot. The problem is the menu just, it takes a bit too long. Because for some, for whatever reason, you can't skip through this part. And just, and if you ever create a game, if you ever create a game, make this kind of shit skippable. It's so silly to keep it in here. Oh damn, I'm way the fuck over again.